Minnesota covering, crossing rather, the entire state of Wisconsin. That is still moving eastward and has pretty much passed us. The system we're worried about now is a line of thunderstorms just over the Menominee area. A line of thunderstorms has been sighted over Menominee. A funnel cloud sighted north of Menominee. Another one sighted in the Stanley Boyd area of southeastern Chippewa County. And a new tornado warning has been issued for the counties of Dunn, Chippewa, Taylor, and St. Croix County until 6.30. The tornado warning for Eau Claire is still in effect till 6.30. The National Weather Service has not decided whether or not they will update that uh, 6.30 coming up in just a few moments. Right now, let's go to that video showing uh, the storm damage. An edited version will be shown later on TV10. What we have right now is lots of damage in the field. Many car windows were broken. In one part, as you'll see in a few moments, uh, an entire piece of an apartment complex was entirely ripped off one apartment just bare with the furniture still in the living room people walking around kind of wondering where their roof and their walls were right now still a lot of debris in the area a big problem in the area was bystanders people just coming from their houses and taking a look around police had to take that extra time to turn people away uh, people continue to pick things up the picking up of the uh, damage and debris should be going on for quite some time Later on in the tape, you'll see that I talked to a person from the American Red Cross. He said that there were no people injured, not even in this turnover of a trailer house. Uh, the owners of the people were talking to the sheriff, and nobody was injured. But uh, as you can see, some damage, quite a bit of damage done to the people who lived in that particular trailer. More damage from around the area. Once again, this was near the corner of London Road and Golf Road. That's in uh, the southern part of Eau Claire, just about two blocks from Highway 53 and not too far from the London Square Mall. They evacuated the mall during the storm. Uh, storm warnings were issued both by Civil Defense Siren and by local TV stations, including TV10. Many people did take cover going into shelter. Other places like the mall were evacuated. Uh, the police report that the damage was pretty much confined to the Southern Eau Claire area and on a path from a line between uh, Highway 12 and County Road B up to points east and north of Rudolph Road. Here's some more video of uh, property which was destroyed and lost and strewn about because of the storm. And uh, for more updates on this, you can watch Focus News on Monday night. Uh, storm damage and stories will be covered in that one. Here's part of the apartment complex on Golf Road, which was partially destroyed in the storm. Shingles left all over the place. Uh, sidewalk was just covered with debris. Many windows broken, things thrown through windows. In some cases, uh, parts of a gutter were wrapped around telephone poles. The wind just managed to do that to them. In talking with two people who lived in the apartment complex there, they said what uh, cued them to go downstairs was from them looking out the window and not only seeing their cars shown here with the windows blown out, but seeing a barbecue grill and a lawn chair flying by. It was this that prompted them to take shelter, uh, that and the air pressure popping their ears. They went downstairs. People from all over the apartment complex were already down there and had taken that warning. Okay, we've just received word that the tornado warning has been updated. The tornado warning will be in effect in Eau Claire County until at least 7 p.m. So in Oak, for Eau Claire County, a tornado warning until 7 p.m. We, of course, will keep you updated. There again is part of that apartment complex. And uh, once again, many things thrown about. People will continue picking up through most of the night. The Eau Claire utility people are there. NSP is there. The fire department also. Everybody helping clean up. Now, this is the apartment that was uh, very much shattered by the storm. That is the corner, second floor of an apartment, but it is just gone now. All that's left is the uh, furniture and uh, perhaps a stereo, but people just walking in, taking a look at the damage, pretty much uh, s struck by what's been going on over there. There again, part of the roof, which partially collapsed and partially just bl blew away. Some more views. Uh, some walls just caved in, other windows just shattered. The damage was confined to an area, or most of the major damage, to this apartment complex on London and Golf Roads for about a three, four block area. In places surrounding that, many tree branches blown down and uh, some minor damage strewn about. A few mailboxes were the only casualties in places other than that storm. Here are the Eau Claire Fire Department arriving on the scene.
Still people on the scene right now over at the uh, damaged areas over by London and Gulf Road. And once again, that tornado warning has been extended until 7 o'clock for Eau Claire counties. The tornado warning for the counties of Dunn, Chippewa, Taylor, and St. Croix has uh, supposedly expired at 6.30. No word as yet as to whether that one will be extended. Once again, those two systems are the one that passed us already covering central Wisconsin, another one just over the Menominee area. A third area of thunderstorms is located nearby the Twin Cities. There were, there were severe thunderstorms southeast of Minneapolis about the time we were receiving our tornado here in Eau Claire. Those, of course, still moving eastward, too. And if anything severe should come out of that or of any of the other storms around the area, we'll be sure to let you know on TV 10, both with uh, updates and programming or perhaps on a crawl line to let you know when you should be taking cover and keeping yourself protected. Once again, a tornado warning remains in effect for at least another 25 minutes. A couple things from on campus. The food service people have said that they are closed. They will remain closed, uh, and they will not make a commitment as to when they will open. And if they do open up again, they won't make a commitment as to whether or not they will serve dinner. So far, closed, not serving anything. As for dorms, whether or not you should be in or out, people were out and about in some of the dorms. For instance, the uh, Towers Girls dorm, everybody was downstairs. Other dorms are letting their people out. Right now, because the tornado warning has been extended until 7, we urge that you remain downstairs, take shelter, because those storms can be coming through any time between now and 7 o'clock. So please take shelter, keep yourself safe. That's a, an update from Focus News. We'll have more as the situation develops. Good evening. which is about five to eight miles uh, west of the campus. So there is dark clouds, sirens are going off in the area. The other information we have, we'll take a look at our radar summary right now. This is off the National Weather Service radar, which we put on our map. That uh, system has moved from the Menominee area, now moving down into the Eau Claire area in Eau Claire County. A severe thunderstorm warning has just been issued for Winona County in southeastern Minnesota, also moving towards the east. Another line just north of the Twin Cities, once again heading into Wisconsin. Tornado warnings remain effect in the area, including the Eau Claire area. Another one for the uh, f further western parts of Wisconsin around the St. Croix Dunn County area. We have two unconfirmed sightings of funnel clouds in Dunn County, which is just west of Eau Claire County. And uh, the other reports that we have are the severe thunderstorm warning until 7.30 in Winona. We also have um, dark clouds around the Highway 85 area, which is uh, just southwest uh, of Eau Claire. Five to 10 miles west of Eau Claire was the funnel cloud sighting approximately 20 minutes ago. Apparently that is the same system which is moving in right now, causing the sirens to be uh, turned on in the Eau Claire County area. So once again, that's sirens going off in the Eau Claire County area. Dark perhaps funnel clouds in the Menards Complex area, which is about five to eight miles west of the campus. We have a tornado warning and severe thunder thunderstorm warning just southwest of us. Stay tuned to Focus News. We'll run a crawl line and a graphic right now of updated weather material. We'll come back on when conditions warrant. We've got another um, sighting right now just coming off the weather radio from the National Weather Service. And we'll get that to you in just a moment. Once again, two unconfirmed sightings in Menominee and we have sirens going off in Eau Claire. Okay, a tornado, a tornado has been sighted in the Elk Mound area heading towards Eau Claire. Now, Elk Mound, uh, once again, just a little bit west, perhaps uh, northwest, if anything, from Eau Claire, heading down towards the Eau Claire area. So once again, a tornado sighted in Elk Mound and heading towards the Eau Claire area. So we have sirens going off, uh, heavy clouds just west of the area, a tornado sighted in Elk Mound, unconfirmed sightings elsewhere in Dunn County, and another system moving up this way. If you're in a dorm and if you have not taken cover yet, please do so immediately. We have a tornado heading down this way, and if you haven't taken cover yet, if you're not in a safe place, do it now. Hi. Hi. Uh, we have a weather update. They're telling everyone to get off the streets. There's severe lightning, severe action, possibly sightings. They're just, all the police are telling everyone, get off the streets get downstairs. So if you're watching TV on the street, get off the street. In other words, what that means, don't go outside. Get downstairs, get into a safe place immediately. Uh, I'm sure you've all heard time and time again the kind of stuff to do. Get under a heavy object, stay away from windows, stay away from the large dorm doors and plate glass windows.
those can collapse immediately. So if you're in your dorm room, if it's not on the ground floor, get out, get into a hallway, and take cover. All people should be inside right now. The Eau Claire police are saying, get off the streets right now, stay away from the outside area. Heavy lightning, and they are also talking about possible flash floods later on tonight with uh, heavy rain still in the forecast. So once again, a tornado sighted in Elk Mound. Sirens going off because there are heavy clouds around the Menards complex, unconfirmed sightings in Dunn County, and another storm system heading this way. So we'll leave you with that right now. We will be back on as conditions warrant. Good evening. This is Pat Kreitlow again with a Focus News weather update. We've got buildings down and heavy damage. A tornado has touched down along the river on Highway 85. Police have just left the area because of the heavy damage. A small tornado has touched down. It's coming up on the river along Highway 85, heading northeast. Once again, that is in the Eau Claire area. Uh, wires, are wires have just been down. Buildings are now down. There is heavy damage. There is also heavy damage in the Eau Claire area, in the, or rather in the Elk Mound area. A severe thunderstorm warning has just been issued for Eau Claire and Chippewa counties. That is supposed to be in effect until 745, so we've got at least another 20 minutes to go on that one. Uh, so once again, we've got heavy damage in the Elk Mound area. We have a small tornado touchdown along Highway 85 coming up off the river. Buildings are down, wires are down, there is heavy damage. Uh, highway patrolmen have just left the area because the damage has been too heavy. Winds are hard. Hail has been prevalent in the area, at least pea size, possibly harder. Uh, on, the, on the campus front, everybody please stay down in the basements, in the lower areas. Do not go outside because of frequent lightning strikes and uh, possible heavy rain. So if you're downstairs now, it's your best bet to just stay there and stay tuned and find out what's going on until this all clears up. On the radar itself, that heavy uh, area of storms right now is centered in the Eau Claire area, just coming into it. Another front still remains coming into Wisconsin, just north of the Twin Cities. And the part we're worried about right now, this line of storms extends all the way down into the Winona, Rochester area. It is also moving this direction. So we're going to have more storms coming as there is a slight break between the lines. We should get that next line coming up uh, before the evening is out. So once again, tornadoes are touching down in the Eau Claire area. Sirens are going off. Stay indoors, stay undercover, and stay tuned for further updates. We'll keep you updated on both the graphics, and we'll be back with a live update as conditions develop. Good evening, I'm Pat Krylo with another Focus Weather Update. We've got a few more tornado sightings in the area. We'll go through them in uh, some semblance of order. The one on Highway 85 continues to be on the ground at last report. The last report we received about 30 sec seconds ago reports that power lines are going out. Uh, one police report of a uh, green or blue explosion, apparently that of a, a transformer or other power lines exploding and going out in the area. Winds right now in the Eau Claire area are going in excess of 110 miles an hour. So once again, stay away from windows, stay away from doors. Anything that could blow into you, stay off the streets. Do not go outside. Stay where you are. Uh, stay sheltered. We have a report that uh, there's been heavy activity, perhaps a funnel coming down, at least sighted on Skyline Drive. That is in the uh, southwestern corner of Eau Claire, moving once again due west, which is right towards the campus. The next sighting we have is from an officer on Menominee Street reporting perhaps that same cloud once again moving easterly towards uh, that area of town. We have three sightings of possible touchdowns or at least funnel activity. The first one is in Bloomer, Wisconsin. The second in Chippewa Falls and the one that we've already mentioned just west of Eau Claire moving directly towards the city. On the map uh, right now the radar is showing that 
the storm activities, we have three major systems. The first is the line that is affecting us right now. It stretches from just north of Eau Claire down to approximately the Rochester area. The line is up to 50 miles wide, and that is what is causing most of our activity right now. The next line is uh, centered southeast of the Twin Cities. It stretches from approximately northern St. Croix County down to the southeastern suburbs of the Twin Cities and all the way down to the Iowa border. This long line here is approximately 150 miles away from this line, both of them coming west. The third system is north of us. It's the one that we've been also telling you about, north of the Twin Cities, crossing into northern St. Croix, uh, possibly northern Dunn County, sometime within the uh, next hour or so. So what we've got right now is at least three tornado sightings. We've also got sightings uh, from Skyline Drive, Menominee Street. We've got possible touchdowns in Bloomer, Chippewa Falls, and of course west of Eau Claire, and the small touchdown which touched down just off Highway 85. Buildings have been blown down. There has been heavy damage. And right now in the Eau Claire area itself, winds of 110 miles an hour. We'll be coming on whenever conditions develop. Uh, stay tuned to the graphics. They should let you know when we'll be coming back on the air. And until we have enough information to go back on, we'll just continue to use that as a headline service to keep you updated on what's going on in the area. So we'll return you to that and come back as conditions develop. Sure thing. Food service is closed. They will not serve at all tonight. So for anything you've got in your room, junk food, whatever, you're going to have to live on that. There will be no food service tonight uh, at all. It was closed approximately an hour and a half ago. It will not reopen. So just take uh, cover and don't worry about your appetite because they will not open again. So we'll come back to you as conditions develop. We have an emergency update from the Focus Weather Center. A funnel cloud has been sighted over the state office building. That is approximately two blocks from the tower's dorm. A funnel cloud sighted over the state office building. The other um, updated information we have, there's an increased chance of a power outage. Police report arcing wires in the city. That is from winds of over 110 miles an hour. We also have lines going out in the Elk Mound area and uh, just about anything west of the city has been blown down or damaged heavily. We still have uh, the possibility of hail, frequent lightning strikes, arcing wires, high winds, and a funnel cloud over the state office building. If uh, you're still taking a chance upstairs watching TV, turn us off and get downstairs. Get undercover immediately. We'll be back on when conditions develop. We'll get set to show you this radar map here. Radar blotches have been seen all across Wisconsin. Heaviest blotches right now are right over the Eau Claire area, but it is a line that stretches from northeast of Eau Claire all the way down into the Rochester, Winona area. Severe thunderstorm warnings out in the Winona area. All that is heading right towards Eau Claire. Another heavy area of precipitation just uh, crossing the St. Croix River from Minnesota into Wisconsin, moving once again eastward, and uh, still warnings posted for that one. Heavy winds um, and uh, rather heavy rains on top of that. We've also had reports of pea-sized hail in the area, heavy damage once again off 85. We've had uh, buildings blown down, trees blown down. We've had a lightning fire off Highway 93. We had reports of a funnel cloud just two blocks from our studio underneath the uh, tower's basement. We've had a report of funnel cloud right over the state office building. Wires, power wires are arcing in the city, uh, increasing the chances of a power outage. We have reports of damage in the Town Hall Crescent area that's in southwestern Eau Claire. That, too, is also rolling right towards us. So we will continue to keep you updated. Uh, the latest update we have right now is that there was another funnel cloud sighted over the city, and there was another one right behind that. So what we've got are police reports of funnel clouds going down, coming back up, and just doing that uh, all over the city. The uh, last significant touchdown is the one we just received off Highway 93 where that lightning fire was. And once again, no food service. We'll keep you informed on other uh, news as it warrants. Stay tuned. We'll come back on the air live when conditions warrant. Oh, Any word on that uh, storm lifting over Salt Lake, Clarence? No, not likely, Victor. I just reviewed the area report for 1,600 hours through 2,400. Uh-huh. 
It's an occluded front stalled over the Dakotas, backed up all the way to Utah. Yeah, well, if she decides to push over to the Great Lakes, it could get plenty sleepy. Uh huh. And what about that southern route around Tulsa? Uh, I double checked the terminal forecast and winds aloft. I had far ceilings all the way. What do they top out? Well, there's some light scattered cover at 20,000, icing around 18. Ah! The original flight plan over doing the best bet. Denver it is. Sorry, Clarence. Latest weather report. Good evening. This is Pat Kreitler with a focus weather update. First of all, about the movie, uh, we are pausing the movie. You will see it in its entirety. You won't lose a single laugh out of it. So we'll continue to show airplane throughout the evening with no interruptions. But first, we've got these uh, tornado sightings in the heart of the city. The first uh, first report that we've got is limited visibility. We've had police reports. One car says that they cannot see 10 feet in front of them. Uh, Apparently because of the heavy rain, it's just falling down very hard, and because of increasing darkness, it's getting hard to see the clouds. We've got reports of a, uh, a large cloud system, uh, very dark out there, to the south of the city, once again moving north-northeast towards Eau Claire. The reports of uh, funnel clouds that we have right now, there's one report. This is a citizen's report unconfirmed by the police at the intersection of Claremont and Cameron. Now, you'll find Claremont and Cameron up in this part of the city uh, towards the west end, and for those of you who are familiar with that area, that's near the Minute Mart, uh, located on Claremont and Cameron. We have reports of a tornado uh, sighting there. We have damage along Maple Road, which was once again in the northwestern part of the city, and another one in the heart of the city, this along Brackett. There's been a sighting, not a touchdown, but a sighting along Brackett Road in this part of the city. Uh, for those of you with reference points, the campus is approximately here on the map. We still have reports of cloud activity to the south. Once again, all the heavy damage before was from around Highway 85 in that area. Uh, others down here in uh, the southwestern parts of the city and outside of the city. We have winds uh, still over 100 miles an hour, still much damage. Uh, lightning fires, frequent lightning strikes, uh, pea-sized hail, and still other related storm damage. It's continuing through the area. When we get a radar summary, we'll put it on the Wisconsin map, and we'll give that to you as soon as we can get it. So in the meantime, we've still got uh, at least three sightings inside the city, no confirmed sightings of touchdowns, but they are right in the heart of Eau Claire. We will be back to uh, interrupt the movie when conditions develop. You will see it in, in its entirety. So we'll be returning with an update shortly. Enjoy the movie. Roger, glad to have you aboard. Victor, this is Roger Murdoch, Victor Basta. <laughs> Good evening for Focus News Weather. I'm Pat Kreitler. Once again, we've got uh, some damage updates and some more twisters to report to you for this evening. First of all, the, uh, the twisters that have been sighted, three funnels, three of them have been sighted north of Mondovi. So for those of you who are new to the area, Mondovi is approximately 20 miles southwest of Eau Claire, approximately in this area. So if they're north of Mondovi, they're located somewhere in between. If the storms continue moving north and northeast as they have been all night, they will be once again coming towards the Eau Claire area, but there has been no firm word as to whether or not they are directly heading towards us. But three funnel clouds have been sighted north of Mondovi, a town about 20 miles south of Eau Claire. The damage reports that we have right now, there's been severe damage to the Skyline Drive area. There's been extensive tree and building damage throughout the city. Uh, nothing as heavy as the big storms we've had a couple of years ago, but uh, once again, extensive tree and damage uh, that would come with any major storm such as the ones we've had. Power lines are down uh, all around the city, especially in the Skyline Drive area. No power has gone out on this part of the city. Fences are down, power lines are down, and there has been some light hail damage in the city. Right now, we've uh, just received a radar uh, summary from WQOW using the National Weather Service radar. Let's take a look at that right now. As you can see on there, we've got a line of storms from slightly northeast of Eau Claire, stretching down across the Iowa border. They're going through the Rochester, Winona area, stretching down there. That's a line of approximately 300, 350 miles. The line is about 50 miles wide. It has moved through the Eau Claire area. The other branch that was west, or east rather, of the Twin Cities crossing the St. Croix has branched with that. As you can see, a little Y hook to the uh, left of that main branch. That is somewhat south of Eau Claire, so we may uh, or may not get it. The, Tornado warning was to expire at 9.30 and at 8.45. Now we find that that is still in effect. A severe thunderstorm warning for other areas 
until at least 9.15. We'll give you updates on those times for the watches, the warnings, etc., as they develop on either the graphics or another live update. From the Office of Safety and Security, we've received word that there is no damage on the campus. Now, this is from uh, somebody at the Safety and Security desk who said that she could not be positive about this. This is just from what the Safety and Security Department has received and calls that they have received no damage. And they'd like us to inform you that if you do not have a damage report or an emergency call, please do not call them asking for damage reports, etc. They're getting swamped with calls the way it is, so do not give them a call. We can simply tell you right now that there is no extensive damage on campus. Highway 85, where that tornado touched down, there's debris scattered all along the roadside and on the road itself. Buildings down, trees down, power lines down. It's just a downer. Everything is down along Highway 85. We've got uh, tree and building damage around the city, but as we say, the main line of storms has moved through the Eau Claire area. As to whether or not new ones will develop, or others will move through the area. We can't say right now. We will come back to you sometime during the movie when we know for sure. Until then, we'll update you with a crawl line at the bottom of your screen. That'll give you updates right now. The only thing we're thinking about right now is the uh, storm centers south of the city with three funnel clouds sighted north of Mondovi. We'll update you as conditions develop and get you back to the movie. Tonight, we've been waiting for you. This is Pat Kreitler with hopefully our final weather update of the evening. First of all, we'll take a look. New conditions have just come in from the National Weather Service. Let's take a look at those right now. What we have is a tornado warning extended until 1030 for the city of Eau Claire. So we are still under a tornado warning until 1030. Also going on in the Eau Claire area, a severe thunderstorm warning. That is a warning, not a watch. A severe thunderstorm warning until 7.45 tomorrow morning. So we are going to have that storm system with us throughout the night. Right now, a good deal of it has cleared out at least the heavier stuff, uh, hoping that this will be our final update for the evening. If, by chance, uh, tornadoes or other heavy activity should force us back down into the basement, we will come back on the air to uh, give you an update on what is going on with the weather. So we have a tornado warning until 10.30 for eastern Eau Claire, western Clark counties. At 9.20, there was a report of a funnel cloud northeast and west of Augusta. Uh, that storm moving at 35 miles an hour, once again, that around the Eau Claire area. All of that uh, activity was caused by a long squall line, which still extends from northeast of Eau Claire down through the west central Wisconsin area into the Winona Rochester area down into uh, northern Iowa. This long squall line continues to bring heavy showers, high winds, and uh, very heavy rain into the area underneath it. Also, it still remains branched out into southern St. Croix County, uh, e extreme southern Dunn County. That all is still moving towards the east, but it is far enough south of Eau Claire that things have uh, calmed down, at least for the moment. We're reporting calmer winds, but the rain is still heavy outside. Uh, according to police radio, some uh, people out there on the highway still cannot see more than 10 feet. The rain is just that heavy. Taking a look at the activity that we had today weather-wise, our first uh, tornado series went through at around 4 o'clock in the London Square area, uh, specifically around London and Gulf Road, where we had uh, a tornado come through d uh, damaging an apartment complex in that area. That was at 4 o'clock, and we had showed you video from that. At 8 o'clock is when most of our activity began. Uh, some of the other sightings included Highway 85, which is apparently where the most extensive damage was. That uh, came just near the river and into the highway. Buildings were down. Trees were uh, just brushed aside. Uh, power wires were down. Power was out throughout the area and just lots of damage in that area from a small tornado. Around Highway 59, there were accidents, a lightning fire, and uh, some injuries involved in an accident uh, storm related along the Highway 59 area. Everything there began for the Eau Claire area around 8 o'clock when there were unconfirmed sightings just north of Menominee. Uh, they soon w turned into confirmed sightings both north and west of Menominee, moved through the area and began moving eastward towards Eau Claire. Sirens began going off when the funnel clouds were over the Menards uh, complex just off I-94, about five miles west of the city. 
There were reports the funnel clouds as close to the campus as over the state office building, which is only two blocks from the tower's dormitory. So there were funnel clouds as close to being right over our heads. The Office of Safety and Security has reported that there has been no major damage to the campus, however. We'll give you a complete weather and news update on everything that happened on Focus News tomorrow at both 7 and 10 o'clock. Going through other uh, reportings of funnel clouds throughout the area, there were reports from the Claremont and Cameron area, which is in Eau Claire, just uh, on the west side of the city, right up here, Claremont and Cameron, there's the intersection there. There was also damage reported to the Maple Road area. There was damage reported in the Brackett Avenue area. There was a sighting right there that pretty much dead in the middle of the city. There was uh, also reports of large cloud uh, formations to the south, which brought damage down around the uh, highway areas down here. Three funnel clouds north of Mondovi. Uh, the tornado warning was extended all through the day. It continues to be extended until 7.45. The food service was closed down. There was no dinner served tonight. Uh, Hilltop dinner cafeteria was evacuated due to the storm. Classes will be held tomorrow. That is the latest information that we have. Classes will not be canceled. Classes will be uh, beginning tomorrow morning, so no cancellations there. There was also severe damage to the Skyline Drive area extensive tree and building damage throughout the city, including light hail damage from pea-sized hail. Once again, things have begun to clear up um, as far as intensity of the weather. However, the heavy rain still continues. So right now, we're going to take a look at our latest radar picture. This once again coming from WQOW uh, TV station in Eau Claire. And as you can see on the radar, what we have is a squall line extending from Eau Claire all the way down through the Winona Rochester area into northern Iowa. Once again, that branch into as far as southern St. Croix County. That all is moving north and northeast around the Eau Claire area, but so far things have calmed just enough that uh, we can at least take a little breather. Some people have gone upstairs, and uh, those of us who are staying down or keeping you updated, you may want to come back down if you see severe weather because that tornado warning has been extended until 10.30. The severe thunderstorm warning goes in, uh, or remains in effect until 7.45 tomorrow morning. So we still have that storm system with us. If severe weather should develop and a tornado warning sirens are sounded and people will have to be brought back down to shelter, we will come back on the air to give you updates and also to do some programming. But due to the fact that things have calmed just enough where uh, people are going upstairs, we're going to go back to our normal Sunday night programming schedule, which is just continuous graphics from the, from the uh, message center. But we will back, go back on the air with updates and programming if need be. So what we've got is things clearing up with a tornado warning continuing for another 45 minutes at least, a severe thunderstorm warning going until 745. So this has been a weather update from Focus News. I'm Pat Kreitlow. Have a nice evening.